Section five of English Synonyms and Antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Julie van Mollichem. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. Alarm to Alliance. Alarm. Synonyms. Affright, apprehension, consternation, dismay, disquietude, dread, fear, fright, misgiving, panic, solicitude, terror, timidity. Alarm, according to its derivation, alarm, to arms, is an arousing to meet and repel danger, and may be quite consistent with true courage. A fright and fright express sudden fear, which, for the time at least, overwhelms courage. The sentinel discovers with alarm the sudden approach of the enemy. The unarmed villagers view it with a fright. Apprehension, disquietude, dread, misgiving, and solicitude are in anticipation of danger. Consternation, dismay, and terror are overwhelming fear generally in the actual presence of that which is terrible, though these words also may have an anticipative force. Timidity is a quality, habit, or condition, a readiness to be affected with fear. A person of great timidity is constantly liable to needless alarm and even terror. Compare fear. Antonyms Assurance, calmness, confidence, Repose, security. Prepositions. Alarm was felt in the camp, among the soldiers, at the news. Alert. Synonyms. Active, brisk, hustling, lively, nimble, on the watch, prepared, prompt, ready, vigilant, watchful, wide awake. Alert, ready, and wide awake refer to watchful promptness for action. Ready suggests thoughtful preparation. The wandering Indian is alert. The trained soldier is ready. Ready expresses more life and vigour than prepared. The gun is prepared. The man is ready. Prompt expresses readiness for appointment or demand at the required moment. The good general is ready for emergencies. Alert to perceive opportunity or peril, prompt to seize action. The sense of brisk, nimble, is a secondary and now less common signification of alert. Compare active, alive, nimble, vigilant. Antonyms drowsy, dull, heavy, inactive, slow, sluggish, stupid. Alien, adjective. Synonyms, conflicting, contradictory, contrary, contrasted, distant, foreign, hostile, impertinent, inappropriate, irrelevant, opposed, remote, strange, unconnected, unlike. Foreign refers to difference of birth, alien to difference of allegiance. In the figurative use, that is foreign which is remote, unlike or unconnected. That is alien which is conflicting, hostile or opposed. Impertinent and irrelevant matters cannot claim consideration in a certain connection. Inappropriate matters could not properly be considered. Compare alien noun, contrast, verb. Antonyms, akin, appropriate, apropos, Essential, germain, pertinent, proper, relevant. Prepositions. Such a purpose was alien to, or from, my thought. To preferable. Alien, noun. Synonyms. Foreigner, stranger. A naturalized citizen is not an alien, though a foreigner by birth, and perhaps a stranger in the place where he resides. A person of foreign birth not naturalized is an alien, though he may have been resident in the country a large part of a lifetime, 
and cease to be a stranger to its people or institutions. He is an alien in one country if his allegiance is to another. The people of any country still residing in their own land are, strictly speaking, foreigners to the people of all other countries, rather than aliens, but alien and foreigner are often used synonymously. Antonyms Citizen, Countryman, Fellow Countryman, Native, Native-born Inhabitant, Naturalized Person. Prepositions Aliens to, more rarely from, our nation and laws, aliens in our land, among our people. Alike Synonyms Akin, Analogous, Equal, Equivalent, Homogeneous, identical, kindred, like, resembling, same, similar, uniform. Alike is a comprehensive word, signifying as applied to two or more objects, that some or all qualities of one are the same as those of the other or others. By modifiers, alike may be made to express more or less resemblance, as, these houses are somewhat it is partially alike, or these houses are exactly, it is in all respects alike. Cotton and wool are alike in this, that they can both be woven into cloth. Substances are homogeneous, which are made up of elements of the same kind, or which are the same in structure. Two pieces of iron may be homogeneous in material, while not alike in size or shape. In geometry, two triangles are equal when they can be laid over one another, and fit line for line and angle for angle. They are equivalent when they simply contain the same amount of space. An identical proposition is one that says the same thing precisely in subject and predicate. Similar refers to close resemblance, which at leaves room for question or denial of complete likeness or identity. To say this is the identical man is to say not merely that he is similar to the one I have in mind, but that he is the very same person. Things are analogous when they are similar in idea, plan, use, or character, though perhaps quite unlike in appearance, as the gills of fishes are said to be analogous to the lungs in terrestrial animals. Antonyms Different, dissimilar, distinct, heterogeneous, unlike. Prepositions The specimens are alike in kind. They are all alike to me. Alive Synonyms Active, alert, animate, animated, breathing, brisk, existent, existing, live, lively, living, quick, subsisting, vivacious. A life applies to all degrees of life, from that which shows one to be barely existing or existent as a living thing, as when we say he is just alive, to that which implies the very utmost of vitality and power, as in the words, he is all alive, thoroughly alive. So the word quick, which began by signifying having life, is now mostly applied to energy of life, as shown in swiftness of action. Breathing is capable of like contrast. We say of a dying man, he is still breathing, or we speak of a breathing statue, or breathing and sounding beauteous battle. Tennyson, Princess, Canto five, line 155, where it means having, or seeming to have, full and vigorous breath, abundant life. Compare active, alert, nimble. Antonyms dead, deceased, defunct, dispirited, dull, inanimate, lifeless, spiritless. Prepositions Alive in every nerve, alive to every noble impulse, alive with fervour, hope, resolve, alive through all his being. Allay. Synonyms. Alleviate. Appease. 
calm, compose, mollify, pacify, quiet, soothe, still, tranquilize. Allay and alleviate are closely kindred in signification, and have been often interchanged in usage. But in strictness, to allay is to lay to rest, quiet or soothe that which is excited. To alleviate, on the other hand, is to lighten a burden. We allay suffering by using means to soothe and tranquilize the sufferer. We alleviate suffering by doing something toward removal of the cause, so that there is less to suffer, where the trouble is wholly or chiefly in the excitement, to allay the excitement is virtually to remove the trouble. As, to allay rage or panic, we alleviate poverty, but do not allay it. Pacify, directly from the Latin, and appease, from the Latin through the French, signify to bring to peace. To mollify is to soften, to calm, quiet, or tranquilize, is to make still, compose, to place together, unite, adjust to calm and settled condition, to soothe, originally to send to humour, is to bring to pleased quietude. We allay excitement, appease a tumult, calm agitation, compose our feelings or countenance, pacify the quarrelsome, quiet the boisterous or clamorous, Soothe grief or distress. Compare alleviate. Antonyms agitate, arouse, excite, fan, kindle, provoke, rouse, stir, stir up. Allege. Synonyms adduce, advance, affirm, assert, asseverate, assign, aver, cite, claim, declare. Introduce, maintain, offer, plead, produce, say, state. To allege is formally to state as true or capable of proof, but without proving. To adduce, literally to lead to, is to bring the evidence up to what has been alleged. Adduce is a secondary word. Nothing can be adduced in evidence till something has been stated or alleged which the evidence is to sustain. An alleged fact stands open to question or doubt. To speak of an alleged document, an alleged will, an alleged crime, is either to question, or at least very carefully to refrain from admitting, that a document exists, that a will is genuine, or that a crime has been committed. Alleged is, however, respectful. To speak of the so-called will or deed, etc., would be to cast discredit upon the document, and imply that the speaker was ready to brand it as unquestionably spurious. A leech simply concedes nothing and leaves the question open. To produce is to bring forward, as, for instance, papers or persons. A deuce is not used of persons. Of them we say introduce or produce. When an alleged criminal is brought to trial, the counsel on either side are accustomed to advance a theory, and adduce the strongest possible evidence in its support. They will produce documents and witnesses, cite precedents, assign reasons, introduce suggestions, offer pleas. The accused will usually assert his innocence. Compare state. Allegiance. Synonyms. Devotion. Faithfulness. Fealty, homage, loyalty, obedience, subjection. Allegiance is the obligation of fidelity and obedience that an individual owes to his government or sovereign in return for the protection he receives. The feudal uses of these words have mostly passed away with the state of society that gave them birth, but their origin still colours at their present meaning. A patriotic American feels an enthusiastic loyalty to the Republic. He takes on occasion an oath of allegiance to the government, but his loyalty will lead him to do more than mere allegiance could demand. He pays homage to God alone, as the only King and Lord, or to those principles of right that are spiritually supreme. He acknowledges the duty of obedience to all rightful authority. 
who resents the idea of subjection. Fealty is becoming somewhat rare, except in elevated or poetic style. We prefer to speak of the faithfulness, rather than fealty of citizen, wife, or friend. Antonyms Disaffection Disloyalty Rebellion Sedition Treason Prepositions We honour the allegiance of the citizen to the government. The government has a right to allegiance from the citizen. Allegory Synonyms Fable Fiction Illustration Metaphor Parable Simile in modern usage, we may say that an allegory is an extended simile, while a metaphor is an abbreviated simile contained often in a phrase, perhaps in a word. The simile carries its comparison on the surface, in the words as, like, or similar expressions. The metaphor is given directly without any note of comparison. The allegory, parable, or fable, tells its story as if true, leaving the reader or hearer to discover its fictitious character and learn its lesson. All these are, in strict definition, fictions, but the word fiction is now applied almost exclusively to novels or romances. An allegory is a moral or religious tale, of which the moral lesson is a substance, and all descriptions and incidents but accessories, as in The Pilgrim's Progress. A fable is generally briefer, representing animals as speakers and actors, and commonly conveying some lesson of practical wisdom or shrewdness, as the fables of Aesop. A parable is exclusively moral or religious, briefer and less adorned than an allegory, with its lesson more immediately discernible, given as it were at a stroke. Any comparison, analogy, instance, example, tale, anecdote, or the like, which serves to let in light upon a subject, may be called an illustration, this word in its widest use including all the rest. Compare fiction, story, antonyms, chronicle, fact, history, narrative, record. Alleviate, synonyms, abate, assuage, lessen, lighten, Mitigate, moderate, reduce, relieve, remove, soften. Etymologically, to alleviate is to lift the burden toward oneself, and so lighten it for the bearer. To relieve is to lift it back from the bearer, nearly or quite away. To remove is to take it away altogether. Alleviate is thus less than relieve. Relief ordinarily less than remove. We alleviate, relief or remove the trouble. We relieve, not alleviate, the sufferer. Assuage is by derivation to sweeten. Mitigate, to make mild. Moderate, to bring within measure. Abate, to beat down, and so make less. We abate a fever, lessen anxiety, moderate passions or desires, lighten burdens, mitigate or alleviate pain, reduce inflammation, soften, assuage or moderate grief. We lighten or mitigate punishment. We relieve any suffering of body or mind that admits of help, comfort or remedy. Alleviate has often been confused with allay. Compare allay. Antonyms aggravate, augment, embitter, enhance, heighten, increase, intensify, magnify, make worse. Alliance, synonyms, coalition, compact, confederacy, confederation, federation, fusion, league, partnership, union. Alliance is, in its most common use, a connection formed by treaty between sovereign states, as for mutual aid in war. Partnership is a mercantile word, alliance chiefly political or matrimonial. Coalition is oftenest used of political parties. Fusion is now the more common word in this sense. In an alliance between nations, 
There is no surrender of sovereignty, and no union, except for a specified time and purpose. League and alliance are used with scarcely perceptible difference of meaning. In a confederacy or confederation, there is an attempt to unite separate states in a general government without surrender of sovereignty. Union implies so much concession as to make the separate states substantially one. Federation is mainly a poetic and rhetorical word, expressing something of the same thought, as in Tennyson's Federation of the World, Loxley Hall, line 128. The United States is not a confederacy, nor an alliance. The nation might be called a federation, but prefers to be styled a federal union. Antonyms Antagonism, discord, disunion, divorce, enmity, hostility, schism, secession, separation, war. Prepositions, alliance with a neighboring people, against, with the common enemy, for, offense and defense, alliance of, between, or, among nations. End of section 5《of English synonyms and antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Shalifa Mollikim. English synonyms and antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. A lot to ambition. A lot. Synonyms. A point. A portion. Assign, award, destine, distribute, divide, give, grant, meet out, portion out, select, set apart. A lot, originally to assign by lot, applies to the giving of a definite thing to a certain person. A portion or extent of time is allotted, as I expect to live out my allotted time. A definite period is appointed, as the audience assembled at the appointed hour. A lot may also refer to space, as to a lot a plot of ground for a cemetery. But we now often use select, set apart, or assign. A lot is not now used of persons. A point may be used of time, space, or person, as the appointed day, the appointed place, an officer was appointed to this station. Dustin may also refer to time, place, or person, but it always has reference to what is considerably in the future. A man appoints to meet his friend in five minutes. He destines his son to follow his own profession. A sign is rarely used of time, but rather of places, persons, or things. We assign a work to be done, and assign a man to do it, who, if he fails, must assign a reason for not doing it. That which is allotted, appointed, or assigned, is more or less arbitrary. That which is awarded is a due requital of something the receiver has done, and he has a right and a claim to it, as the medal was awarded for valour. Compare a portion. Antonyms. Appropriate, confiscate, deny, resume, retain, seize, withhold. Prepositions, a lot to, a company, for, a purpose. Allow, synonyms, admit, concede, consent to, grant, let, permit, sanction, suffer, tolerate, yield. We allow that which we do not attempt to hinder. We permit that to which we give some express authorization. When this is given verbally, it is called permission. When in writing, it is commonly called a permit. There are establishments that anyone will be allowed to visit without challenge or hindrance. There are others that no one is allowed to visit without a permit from the manager. There are others to which visitors are admitted at specified times without a formal permit. We allow a child's innocent intrusion. We concede a right, 
grant a request, consent to a sale of property, permit an inspection of accounts, sanction a marriage, tolerate the rudeness of a well-meaning servant, submit to a surgical operation, yield to demand or necessity against your wish or will, or yield something under compulsion, as the sheriff yielded the keys at the muzzle of a revolver, and allowed the mob to enter. Suffer, in the sense of mild concession, is now becoming rare, its place being taken by allow, permit, or tolerate. Compare permission. Antonyms. Deny, disallow, disapprove, forbid, protest, refuse, reject, resist, withstand. See also synonyms for prohibit. Prepositions. To allow of, in best recent usage, is simply to allow, such an action, allow one in such a course, allow for spending money. Alloy. Synonyms. Admixture. Adulteration. Debasement. Deterioration. Alloy may be either some admixture of baser with precious metal, as for giving hardness to coin or the like, or it may be a compound or mixture of two or more metals. Adulteration, debasement, and deterioration are always used in the bad sense. Admixture is neutral, and may be good or bad. Alloy is commonly good in the literal sense. An excess of alloy virtually amounts to adulteration, but adulteration is now mostly restricted to articles used for food, drink, medicine, and kindred uses. In the figurative sense, as applied to character, etc., alloy is unfavourable, because there the only standard is perfection. Allude. Synonyms. Advert. Hint. Imply. Indicate. Insinuate. Intimate. Mention. Point. Refer. Signify. Suggest. Advert, mention, and refer are used of language that more or less distinctly utters a certain thought, the others of language from which it may be inferred. We allude to a matter slightly, perhaps by word or phrase, as it were in by-play. We advert to it when we turn from our path to treat it. We refer to it by any clear utterance that distinctly turns the mind or attention to it, as marginal figures refer to a parallel passage. We mention a thing by explicit word, as by naming it. The speaker adverted to the recent disturbances and the remissness of certain public offices. Though he mentioned no name, it was easy to see to whom he alluded. One may hint at a thing in a friendly way, but what is insinuated is always unfavourable, generally both hostile and cowardly. One may indicate his wishes, intimate his plans, imply his opinion, signify his will, suggest a course of action. Compare suggestion. Preposition. The passage evidently alludes to the Jewish Passover. Allure. Synonyms. Attract. Cajole. Captivate. Coax. Decoy. Draw. Entice. Inveigle. Lure. Seduce. Tempt. Win. To allure is to draw, as was allure, by some charm or some prospect of pleasure or advantage. We may attract others to a certain thing without intent, as the good unconsciously attract others to virtue. We may allure either to that which is evil, or to that which is good and noble, by purpose and endeavour, as in the familiar line, allure to brighter worlds and let the way. Goldsmith Deserted Village, line 170. Lure is rather more akin to the physical nature. It is a word we would use of drawing on an animal. Coax expresses the attraction of the person, not of the thing. A man may be coaxed to that which is by no means alluring. Cajole and decoy carry the idea of deceiving and ensnaring. To inveigle is to lead one blindly in. To tempt is to endeavour to lead one wrong. To seduce is to succeed winning one from good to ill. 
when may be used in either a bad or a good sense in which latter it surpasses the highest sense of lieu because it succeeds in that which lieu attempts as he that winneth a souls is wise proverbs eleven thirty antonyms chill damp deter dissuade drive away repel warn prepositions allure to a cause allure by hopes allure from evil to good also synonyms as well as well as besides in addition in like manner likewise similarly to withal while some distinctions between these words and phrases will appear to the careful student, yet in practice the choice between them is largely to secure euphony and avoid repetition. The words fall into two groups, as well as, besides, in addition, to, withal, simply add a fact or thought, also, also, in like manner, likewise, similarly, I found that what is added is like that to which it is added. As well follows the word or phrase to which it is joined. We can say the singers as well as the players, or the players and the singers as well. Antonyms, but, in spite of, nevertheless, notwithstanding, on the contrary, on the other hand, yet. Alternative, synonyms, choice election option pick preference resource a choice may be among many things an alternative is in the strictest sense a choice between two things oftener it is one of two things between which a choice is to be made and either of which is the alternative of the other as the alternative of surrender is death or the two things between which if there is a choice may be called the alternatives both Mill and Gladstone are quoted as extending the meaning of alternative to include several particulars, Gladstone even speaking of the fourth and last of these alternatives. Option is a right or privilege of choosing. Choice may be either the right to choose, the act of choosing, or the thing chosen. A person of ability and readiness will commonly have many resources. Pick from the Saxon, and election from the latin picture the objects before one with a freedom and power to choose which he will as there were twelve horses among which i could take my pick a choice pick election or preference is that which suits one best an alternative is that to which one is restricted a resource that to which one is glad to betake oneself antonyms compulsion Necessity. A mass, synonyms, accumulate, aggregate, collect, gather, heap up, hoard, hoard up, pile up, store up. To a mass is to bring together materials that make a mass a great bulk or quantity. With some occasional exceptions, accumulate is applied to the more gradual a mass to the more rapid gathering of money or materials. A mass referring to the general result or bulk, accumulate to the particular process or rate of gain. We say interest is accumulated, or accumulates, rather than is amassed. He accumulated a fortune in the course of years. He rapidly amassed a fortune by shrewd speculations. Goods or money for immediate distribution are said to be collected rather than amassed. They may be stored up for a longer or shorter time, but a hoard is always with a view of permanent retention, generally selfish. Aggregate is now most commonly used of numbers and amounts, as the expenses will aggregate around a million. Antonyms Disperse, dissipate, divide, parcel, portion, scatter, spend, squander, waste. Prepositions. A mass for oneself, for a purpose, from a distance, with great labour, by industry. Amateur. Synonyms. 
Connoisseur, critic, dilettante, novice, tyro. Etymologically, the amateur is one who loves, the connoisseur one who knows. In usage, the term amateur is applied to one who pursues any study or art simply from the love of it. The word carries a natural implication of superficialness, though marked excellence is at times attained by amateurs. A connoisseur is supposed to be so thoroughly informed regarding any art or work as to be able to criticize or select intelligently and authoritatively. There are many incompetent critics, but there cannot, in the true sense, be an incompetent connoisseur. The amateur practices to some extent that in regard to which he may not be well informed. The connoisseur is well informed in regard to that which he may not practice at all. A novice or tyro may be a professional, an amateur never is. The amateur may be skilled and experienced, as a novice or tyro never is. Dilettante, which had originally the sense of amateur, has to some extent come to denote one who is superficial, pretentious, and defected, whether in theory or practice. Preposition. An amateur in art. Amazement. Synonyms. Admiration. Astonishment. Awe. Bewilderment. Confusion. Perplexity. Surprise. Wonder. Amazement and astonishment both express the momentary overwhelming of the mind by that which is beyond expectation. Astonishment especially affects the emotions. Amazement the intellect. All is a yielding of the mind to something supremely grand in character or formidable in power, and ranges from apprehension or dread to reverent worship. Admiration includes delight and regard. Surprise lies midway between astonishment and amazement, and usually respects a matter of lighter consequence, or such as are less startling in character. Amazement may be either pleasing or painful, as when induced by the grandeur of the mountains, or by the fury of the storm. We can say please surprise, but scarcely please astonishment. Amazement has in it something of confusion or bewilderment, but confusion and bewilderment may occur without amazement, as when a multitude of details require instant attention. Astonishment may be without bewilderment or confusion. Wonder is often pleasing, and may be continuous in view of that which surpasses our comprehension, as the magnitude, order, and beauty of the heavens fill us with increasing wonder. Compare perplexity. Antonyms. Anticipation. Calmness. Composure. Coolness. Expectation. Indifference. Preparation. Self-possession. Steadiness. Stoicism. Preposition. I was filled with amazement at a such reckless daring. Ambition. Synonyms. Aspiration. Competition. Emulation. Opposition. Rivalry. Aspiration is a desire for excellence, pure and simple. Ambition, literally a going around to solicit votes, has primary reference to the award or approval of others, and is the eager desire of power, fame, or something deemed great and eminent, and viewed as a worthy prize. The prizes of aspiration are virtue, nobility, skill, or rather high qualities. The prizes of ambition are advancement, fame, honour, and the like. There is a noble and wise, or an ignoble, selfish, and harmful ambition. Emulation is not so much to win any excellence or success for itself, as to equal or surpass other persons. There is such a thing as a noble emulation, when those we would equal or surpass are noble, and the means we would use worthy. But at the highest, emulation is inferior as a motive to aspiration, which it seeks a high quality or character for its own sake, not with reference to another. Competition is a striving for something that is sought by another at the same time. Emulation regards the abstract, competition the concrete. 
Rivalry is the same in essential meaning with competition, but differs in the nature of the objects contested for, which, in the case of rivalry, are usually of the nobler sort, and less subject to direct gauging, measurement, and rule. We speak of competition in business, emulation in scholarship, rivalry in love, politics, etc. Emulation of excellence, success, achievement, competition for a prize, rivalry between persons or nations. Competition may be friendly, rivalry is commonly hostile. Opposition is becoming a frequent substitute for competition in business language. It implies that a competitor is an opponent and hinderer. Antonyms Carelessness Contentment Humility Indifference Satisfaction End of section 6《》of English synonyms and antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Morgan Scorpion. English synonyms and antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. Amend to answer. Amend. Synonyms. Advance. Ameliorate better, cleanse, correct, emend, improve, make better, meliorate, mend, mitigate, purify, rectify, reform, repair. To amend is to change for the better by removing faults, errors or defects, and always refers to that which at some point falls short of a standard of excellence. Advance, better and improve may refer either to what is quite imperfect or to what has reached a high degree of excellence. We advance the kingdom of God, improve the minds of our children, better the morals of the people. But for matters below the point of ordinary approval, we seldom use these words. We do not speak of bettering a wretched alley or improving a foul sewer. There we use cleanse, purify, or similar words. We correct evils, reform abuses, rectify incidental conditions of evil or error. We ameliorate poverty and misery, which we cannot wholly remove. We mend a tool, repair a building, correct proof. We amend character or conduct that is faulty, or a statement of law that is defective. A text, writing or statement is amended by the author or by some adequate authority. It is often emended by conjecture. A motion is amended by the mover or by the assembly. A constitution is amended by the people. An ancient text is emended by a critic who believes that what seems to him the better reading is what the author wrote. Compare alleviate. Antonyms. Aggravate. Blemish. Corrupt. Debase. Depress. Deteriorate. Harm. Impair. Injure. Mar, spoil, tarnish, vitiate. Amiable, synonyms, agreeable, attractive, benignant, charming, engaging, gentle, good-natured, kind, lovable, lovely, loving, pleasant, pleasing, sweet, winning, winsome. Amiable combines the senses of lovable or lovely and loving. The amiable character has ready affection and kindliness for others, with the qualities that are adapted to win their love. Amiable is a higher and stronger word than good-natured or agreeable. Lovely is often applied to externals, as a lovely face. Amiable denotes a disposition desirous to cheer, please, and make happy. A selfish man of the world may have the art to be agreeable. A handsome, brilliant, and witty person may be charming or even attractive while by no means amiable. The engaging, winning, and winsome add to amiability something of beauty, accomplishments, and grace. The benignant are calmly kind, as from a height and a distance. Kind, good-natured people may be coarse and rude, and so fail to be agreeable or pleasing. The really amiable are likely to avoid such faults by their earnest desire to please. The good-natured have an easy disposition to get along comfortably with everyone in all circumstances. A sweet disposition is very sure to be amiable. 
the loving heart bringing out all that is lovable and lovely in character. Antonyms Acrimonial, churlish, crabbed, cruel, crusty, disagreeable, dogged, gruff, hateful, ill-conditioned, ill-humoured, ill-natured, ill-tempered, morose, sour, sullen, surly, unamiable, unlovely. Amid Synonyms Amidst, among, amongst, between, betwixt, in the midst of, mingled with, surrounded by. Amid or amidst denotes surrounded by, among or amongst denotes mingled with. Between, archaic or poetic betwixt, is said of two persons or objects, or of two groups of persons or objects. Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdman and thy herdman. Genesis 13.9, the reference being to two bodies of herdmen. Amid denotes mere position, among some relative relation, as of companionship, hostility, etc. Lowell's Among My Books regards the books as companions. Amid my books would suggest packing, storing, or some other incidental circumstance. We say among friends or among enemies, amidst the woods, amid the shadows. In the midst of may have merely the local meaning as, I found myself in the midst of a crowd, or it may express even closer association than among, as, I found myself in the midst of friends, suggests their pressing up on every side, oneself the central object, so, where two or three are met together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Matthew 18.20, in which case it would be feebler to say among them, impossible to say amid them, not so well to say amidst them. Antonyms. Afar from, away from, beyond, far from, outside, without. Amplify. Synonyms. Augment, develop, dilate, enlarge, expand, expatiate, extend, increase, unfold, widen. Amplify is now rarely used in the sense of increase to add material substance, bulk, volume, or the like. It is now almost wholly applied to discourse or writing, signifying to make fuller in statement, whether with or without adding matter of importance, as by stating fully what was before only implied, or by adding illustrations to make the meaning more readily apprehended, etc. The chief difficulty of very young writers is to amplify, to get beyond the bare curt statement by developing, expanding, unfolding the thought. The chief difficulty of those who have more material and experience is to condense sufficiently. So in the early days of our literature amplify was used in the favourable sense. But at present this word and most kindred words are coming to share the derogatory meaning that has long attached to expatiate. We may develop a thought, expand an illustration, extend a discussion, expatiate on a hobby, dilate on something joyous or sad, enlarge a volume, unfold a scheme, widen the range of treatment. Antonyms. Abbreviate, abridge, amputate, boil down, condense, curtail, cut down, epitomize, reduce, retrench, summarize, sum up. Prepositions. To amplify on or upon the subject is needless. Amplify this matter by illustrations. Analogy. Synonyms. Affinity. Coincidence. Comparison. Likeness. Parity. Proportion. Relation. Resemblance. Semblance. Similarity. Simile. Similitude. Analogy is specifically a resemblance of relations, a resemblance that may be reasoned from, so that from the likeness in certain respects we may infer that other and perhaps deeper relations exist. Affinity is a mutual attraction with or without seeming likeness, as the affinity of iron for oxygen. Coincidence is complete agreement in some one or more respects. There may be a coincidence in time of most dissimilar events. Parity of reasoning is said of an argument equally conclusive on subjects not strictly analogous. Similitude is a rhetorical comparison of one thing to another with which it has some points in common. Resemblance and similarity are external or superficial, and may involve no deeper relation. 
as the resemblance of a cloud to a distant mountain. Compare allegory. Antonyms. Disagreement. Disproportion. Dissimilarity. Incongruity. Unlikeness. Prepositions. The analogy between, or of, nature and revelation. The analogy of sound to light. A family has some analogy with, or to, a state. Anger. Synonyms. Animosity. Collar. Displeasure. Exasperation. Fretfulness. Fury. Impatience. Indignation. Ire. Irritation. Offence. Passion. Peevishness. Pettishness. Petulance. Rage. Resentment. Temper. Vexation. Wrath. Displeasure is the mildest and most general word. Collar and ire, now rare except in poetic or highly rhetorical language, denote a still, and the latter a persistent, anger. Temper used alone in the sense of anger is colloquial, though we may correctly say a hot temper, a fiery temper, etc. Passion, though a word of far wider application, may in the singular be employed to denote anger. Did put me in a towering passion, Shakespeare, Hamlet, Act Five, Scene Two. Anger is violent and vindictive emotion, which is sharp, sudden, and like all violent passions, necessarily brief. Resentment, a feeling back or feeling over again, is persistent, the bitter brooding over injuries. Exasperation, a roughening, is a hot, superficial intensity of anger, demanding instant expression. Rage drives one beyond the bounds of prudence or discretion. Fury is stronger yet, and sweeps one away into uncontrollable violence. Anger is personal and usually selfish, aroused by real or supposed wrong to oneself, and directed specifically and intensely against the person who is viewed as blameworthy. Indignation is impersonal and unselfish displeasure at unworthy acts, Latin indigna, i.e. at wrong as wrong. Pure indignation is not followed by regret, and needs no repentance. It is also more self-controlled than anger. Anger is commonly a sin. Indignation is often a duty. Wrath is deep and perhaps vengeful displeasure, as when the people of Nazareth were filled with wrath at the plain words of Jesus. Luke 4.28 It may, however, simply express the culmination of righteous indignation without malice in a pure being, as the wrath of God. Impatience, fretfulness, irritation, peevishness, pettishness, petulance and vexation express the slighter forms of anger. Irritation, petulance and vexation are temporary and for immediate cause. Fretfulness, pettishness and peevishness are chronic states finding in any petty matter an occasion for their exercise. Compare acrimony, enmity, hatred. Antonyms Amiability, charity, forbearance, gentleness, leniency, lenity, long-suffering, love, mildness, patience, peace, peaceableness, peacefulness, self-control, self-restraint. Prepositions. Anger at the insult prompted the reply. Anger toward the offender exaggerates the offense. Animal. Synonyms. Beast, brute, fauna, living creature, living organism, sentient being. An animal is a sentient being, distinct from inanimate matter and from vegetable life on the one side and from mental and spiritual existence on the other. Thus man is properly classified as an animal. But because the animal life is the lowest and rudest part of his being, and that which he shares with inferior creatures, to call any individual man an animal is to imply that the animal nature has undue supremacy and so is deep condemnation or utter insult. The brute is the animal viewed as dull to all finer feeling. The beast is looked upon as a being of appetites. To call a man a brute is to imply that he is unfeeling and cruel. To call him a beast is to indicate that he is vilely sensual. We speak of the cruel father as a brute to his children, of the drunkard as making a beast of himself. So firmly are these figurative senses established that we now incline to avoid applying brute or beast to any creature, as a horse or dog, for which we have an affection. We prefer in such cases the word animal. 
Creature is a word of wide signification, including all the things that God has created, whether inanimate objects, plants, animals, angels, or men. The animals of a region are collectively called its fauna. Antonyms Angel Inanimate object Man Material Matter Mind Mineral Soul Spirit Substance Vegetable Announce Synonyms Advertise Circulate Communicate Declare Enunciate Give notice of Give out Herald Make known Notify Proclaim Promulgate Propound Publish Report Reveal Say Spread abroad State Tell To announce is to give intelligence of in some formal or public way we may announce that which has occurred or that which is to occur, though the word is chiefly used in the anticipative sense. We announce a book when it is in press, a guest when he arrives. We advertise our business, communicate our intentions, enunciate our views. We notify an individual, give notice to the public. Declare has often an authoritative force. To declare war is to cause war to be, where before there may have been only hostilities. We say, declare war, proclaim peace. We propound a question or an argument, promulgate the views of a sect or party, or the decision of a court, etc. We report an interview, reveal a secret, herald the coming of some distinguished person or great event. Publish, in popular usage, is becoming closely restricted to the sense of issuing through the press. We announce a book that is to be published. Antonyms Bury, conceal cover up, hide, hush, keep back, keep secret, secrete, suppress, withhold. Prepositions. The event was announced to the family by telegraph. Answer. Synonyms. Rejoinder, repartee, reply, response, retort. A verbal answer is a return of words to something that seems to call for them, and is made to a charge as well as to a question. An answer may even be made to an unspoken implication or manifestation. See Luke 5.22. In a wider sense, anything said or done in return for some word, action or suggestion of another may be called an answer. The blow of an enraged man, the whinny of a horse, the howling of the wind, the movement of a bolt in a lock, an echo, etc., may each be an answer to some word or movement. A reply is an unfolding, and ordinarily implies thought and intelligence. A rejoinder is strictly an answer to a reply, though often used in the general sense of answer, but always with the implication of something more or less controversial or opposed, though lacking the conclusiveness applied in answer. An answer, in the full sense, to a charge, an argument, or an objection, is adequate, and finally refutes and disposes of it. A reply or a rejoinder may be quite inadequate, so that one may say, this reply is not an answer. I am ready with an answer means far more than I am ready with a reply. A response is accordant or harmonious, designed or adapted to carry on the thought of the words that called it forth, as the response is in a liturgical service, or to meet the wish of him who seeks it, as the appeal for aid met a prompt and hearty response. Repartee is a prompt, witty, and commonly good-natured answer to some argument or attack. A retort may also be witty, but is severe, and may be even savage in its intensity. Prepositions. An answer in writing, or by word of mouth, to the question. End of section 7. Of English Synonyms and Antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Morgan Scorpion. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. Anticipate to appear. Anticipate. Synonyms. Apprehend, expect, forecast, foretaste, hope look forward to. 
To anticipate may be either to take before in fact or to take before in thought. In the former sense, it is allied with prevent, in the latter with the synonyms above given. This is coming to be the prevalent and favorite use. We expect that which we have good reason to believe will happen, as a boy expects to grow to manhood. We hope for that which we much desire and somewhat expect. We apprehend what we both expect and fear. Anticipate is commonly used now, like foretaste, of that which we expect both with confidence and pleasure. In this use it is a stronger word than hope, where often the wish is farther to the thought. I hope for a visit from my friend, though I have no word from him. I expect it when he writes that he is coming. And as the time draws near, I anticipate it with pleasure. Compare, abide, prevent. Antonyms Despair of, distrust, doubt, dread, fear, recall, recollect, remember. Anticipation Synonyms Antipast, apprehension, expectancy, expectation, foreboding, forecast. Foresight, foretaste, forethought, hope, presentment, prevision. Expectation may be either of good or evil, presentment almost always, apprehension and foreboding always of evil, anticipation and antipast commonly of good. Thus we speak of the pleasures of anticipation. A foretaste may be of good or evil, and is more than imaginary. It is a part actually received in advance. Foresight and forethought prevent future evil and secure future good by timely looking forward and acting upon what is foreseen. Compare, anticipate. Antonyms. Astonishment, consummation, despair, doubt, dread, enjoyment, fear, realization, surprise, wonder. Antipathy. Synonyms. Abhorrence, antagonism, aversion, detestation, disgust, dislike, distaste, hatred, hostility, opposition, repugnance, repulsion, uncongeniality. Antipathy, repugnance, and uncongeniality are instinctive. Other forms of dislike may be acquired or cherished for cause. Uncongeniality is negative, a want of touch or sympathy. An antipathy to a person or thing is an instinctive recoil from connection or association with that person or thing, and may be physical or mental or both. Antagonism may result from the necessity of circumstances. Opposition may spring from conflicting views or interests. Abhorrence and detestation may be the result of religious and moral training. Distaste and disgust may be acquired. Aversion is a deep and permanent dislike. A natural antipathy may give rise to opposition which may result in hatred and hostility. Compare acrimony, anger, enmity, hatred. Antonyms Affinity, agreement, attraction, congeniality, fellow feeling, harmony, kindliness, regard, sympathy. Prepositions, antipathy to, less frequently for or against, a person or thing. Antipathy between or betwixt two persons or things. Antique, synonyms, ancient, antiquated, old-fashioned, quaint, superannuated. Antique refers to an ancient, antiquated to a discarded style. Antique is that which is either ancient in fact or ancient in style. The reference is to the style rather than to the age. We can speak of the antique architecture of a church just built. The difference between antiquated and antique is not in the age, for a Puritan style may be scorned as antiquated, while a Roman or Renaissance style may be prized as antique. The antiquated is not so much out of date as out of vogue. Old-fashioned may be used approvingly or contemptuously. In the latter case it becomes a synonym for antiquated. In the good sense it approaches the meaning of antique, but indicates less duration. We call a wide New England fireplace old-fashioned. A coin of the Caesars, antique. Quaint combines the idea of age with a pleasing oddity, as a quaint gamble-roofed house. 
antiquated is sometimes used of persons in a sense akin to superannuated the antiquated person is out of style and out of sympathy with the present generation by reason of age the superannuated person is incapacitated for present activities by reason of age compare old antonyms fashionable french modern modish new recent stylish anxiety synonyms anguish apprehension care concern disquiet disturbance dread fear foreboding fretfulness fretting misgiving perplexity solicitude trouble worry anxiety is according to its derivation a choking disquiet akin to anguish anxiety is mental anguish may be mental or physical anguish is in regard to the known anxiety in regard to the unknown anguish is because of what has happened anxiety because of what may happen anxiety refers to some future event always suggesting hopeful possibility and thus differing from apprehension fear dread foreboding terror all of which may be quite despairing in matters within our reach anxiety always stirs the question whether something cannot be done and is thus a valuable spur to doing in this respect it is allied to care foreboding dread etc commonly incapacitate for all helpful thought or endeavour worry is a more petty restless and manifest anxiety anxiety may be quiet and silent worry is communicated to all around solicitude is a milder anxiety fretting or fretfulness is a weak complaining without thought of accomplishing or changing anything but merely as a relief to one's own disquiet perplexity often involves anxiety but may be quite free from it a student may be perplexed regarding a translation yet if he has time enough not at all anxious regarding it antonyms apathy assurance calmness carelessness confidence ease light-heartedness nonchalance satisfaction tranquillity prepositions anxiety for a friend's return anxiety about in regard to or concerning the future apathy synonyms calmness composure immobility impassibility indifference insensibility lethargy phlegm quietness quietude sluggishness stillness stoicism tranquillity unconcern unfeelingness apathy according to its greek derivation is a simple absence of feeling or emotion there are persons to whom a certain degree of apathy is natural an innate sluggishness of the emotional nature in the apathy of despair a person gives up without resistance or sensibility to what he has fiercely struggled to avoid while apathy is want of feeling calmness is feeling without agitation calmness is the result of strength courage or trust apathy is the result of dullness or weakness composure is freedom from agitation or disturbance resulting ordinarily from force of will or from perfect confidence in one's own resources impassibility is a philosophical term applied to the deity as infinitely exalted above all stir of passion or emotion unfeelingness the saxon word that should be the exact equivalent of apathy really means more a lack of the feeling one ought to have a sensible hardness of heart indifference and insensibility designate the absence of feeling towards certain persons or things apathy entire absence of feeling indifference is a want of interest insensibility is a want of feeling unconcern has reference to consequences we speak of insensibility of heart immobility of countenance Stoicism is an intentional suppression of feeling and deadening of sensibilities, while apathy is involuntary. Compare calm, rest, stupor. Antonyms. Agitation, alarm, anxiety. Care, distress, disturbance. Eagerness, emotion, excitement. Feeling, frenzy, fury, passion. Sensibility, sensitiveness, storm. Susceptibility, sympathy, turbulence vehemence violence prepositions the apathy of monastic life apathy toward good a piece 
synonyms distributively each individually separately severally there is no discernible difference in sense between so much a piece and so much each the former is the more common and popular the latter the more elegant expression distributively is generally used of numbers and abstract relations individually emphasizes the independence of the individuals separately and severally still more emphatically hold them apart the signers of a note may become jointly and severally responsible that is each liable for the entire amount as if he had signed it alone witnesses are often brought separately into court in order that no one may be influenced by the testimony of another if a company of laborers demand a dollar apiece that is a demand that each shall receive that sum if they individually demand a dollar each individual makes the demand antonyms accumulatively collectively confusedly en masse indiscriminately synthetically together unitedly apology synonyms acknowledgement confession defence exculpation excuse justification plea vindication all these words express one's answer to a charge of wrong or error that is or might be made apology has undergone a remarkable change from its old sense of a valiant defence as in justin martyr's apologies for the christian faith to its present meaning of humble confession and concession he who offers an apology admits himself at least technically and seemingly in the wrong an apology is for what one has done or left undone an excuse may be for what one proposes to do or leave undone as well as one sends beforehand his excuse for not accepting an invitation if he should fail either to be present or to excuse himself an apology would be in order an excuse for a fault is an attempt at partial justification as one alleges haste as an excuse for carelessness confession is a full acknowledgment of wrong generally of a grave wrong with or without apology or excuse plea ranges in sense from a prayer for favour or pardon to an attempt at full vindication defence exculpation justification and vindication are more properly antonyms than synonyms of apology in its modern sense and should be so given but for their connection with its historic usage compare confess defence antonyms accusation censure charge complaint condemnation imputation injury insult offence wrong prepositions an apology to the guest for the oversight would be fitting apparent synonyms likely presumable probable seeming the apparent is that which appears the word has two contrasted senses either of that which is manifest visible certain or of that which merely seems to be and may be very different from what is as the apparent motion of the sun around the earth apparent kindness casts a doubt on the reality of the kindness apparent neglect implies that more care and pains may have been bestowed than we are aware of presumable implies that a thing may be reasonably supposed beforehand without any full knowledge of the facts probable implies that we know facts enough to make us moderately confident of it seeming expresses great doubt of the reality seeming innocence comes very near in meaning to probable guilt apparent indicates less assurance than probable and more than seeming a man's probable intent we believe will prove to be his real intent his seeming intent we believe to be a sham his apparent intent may be the true one though we have not yet evidence on which to pronounce with certainty or even with confidence likely is a word with a wide range of usage but always implying the belief that the thing is or will be true it is often used with the infinitive as the other words of this list cannot be as it is likely to happen compare evident antonyms doubtful dubious improbable unimaginable unlikely prepositions when apparent is used in the sense of evident his guilt is apparent in every act to all observers appear synonyms have the appearance or semblance look seem appear and look refer to what manifests itself to the senses 
to a semblance or probability presented directly to the mind. Seem applies to what is manifest to the mind on reflection. It suddenly appears to me there is smoke in the distance. As I watch, it looks like a fire. From my knowledge of the locality and observation of particulars, it seems to me a farmhouse must be burning. Antonyms. Be, be certain, real or true, be the fact, exist. Prepositions. Appear at the front, among the first, on or upon the surface, to the eye, in evidence, in print, from reports, near the harbour, before the public, in appropriate dress, with the insignia of his rank, above the clouds, below the surface, under the lee, over the sea, through the mist, appear for, in behalf of, or against one in court. End of section 8nine of english synonyms and antonyms this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org english synonyms and antonyms by james champlin fernald appendage to artist appendage synonyms accessory accompaniment addendum addition adjunct, appendix, appurtenance, attachment, auxiliary, concomitant, extension, supplement. An adjunct, something joined to, constitutes no real part of the thing or system to which it is joined. Though perhaps a valuable addition, an appendage is commonly a real, though not an essential or necessary part, of that with which it is connected. An appurtenance belongs subordinately to something by which it is employed, especially as an instrument to accomplish some purpose. A horse's tail is at once an ornamental appendage and a useful appurtenance. We could not call it an adjunct, though we might use that word of his iron shoes. An attachment in machinery is some mechanism that can be brought into optional connection with the principal movement. A hemmer is a valuable attachment of a sewing machine. An extension, as of a railroad or of a franchise, carries out further something already existing. We add an appendix to a book to contain names, dates, lists, etc., which would encumber the text. We add a supplement to supply omissions, as, for instance, to bring it up to date. An appendix may be called an addendum, but addendum may be used of a brief note, which would not be dignified by the name of appendix. Such notes are often grouped as addenda. An addition might be matter interwoven in the body of the work, an index, plates, editorial notes, etc., which might be valuable additions, but not within the meaning of appendix or supplement. Compare accessory, auxiliary. Antonyms. Main body, original, total, whole. Prepositions. That which is thought of as added we call an appendage to. That which is looked upon as an integral part is called an appendage of. Appetite. Synonyms. Appetency. Craving. Desire. Disposition. Impulse. Inclination. Liking. Longing. Lust. Passion. Proclivity. Proneness. Propensity. Relish, thirst, zest. Appetite is used only of the demands of the physical system unless otherwise expressly stated, as when we say an appetite for knowledge. Passion includes all excitable impulses of our nature as anger, fear, love, hatred, etc. Appetite is thus more animal than passion, and when we speak of passions and appetites as conjoined or contrasted, we think of the appetites as wholly physical, and of the passions as, in part at least, mental or spiritual. We say an appetite for food, a passion for fame. Compare desire. Antonyms. Antipathy, aversion, detestation, disgust, dislike, disrelish, distaste, hatred, indifference, loathing, repugnance, repulsion. Compare antipathy. Preposition. 
he had an insatiable appetite for the marvellous. A portion. Synonyms. A lot. A point. Appropriate. Assign. Deal. Dispense. Distribute. Divide. Grant. Share. To allot or assign may be to make an arbitrary division. The same is true of distribute or divide. That which is apportioned is given by some fixed rule, which is meant to be uniform and fair, as representatives are apportioned among the states according to population. To dispense is to give out freely, as the sun dispenses light and heat. A thing is appropriated to or for a specific purpose, to which it thus becomes proper in the original sense of being its own. Money appropriated by Congress for one purpose cannot be expended for any other. One may apportion what he only holds in trust. He shares what is his own. Compare a lot. Antonyms. Cling to, collect, consolidate, divide arbitrarily, gather together, keep together, receive, retain. Prepositions. A portion to each a fair amount. A portion the property among the heirs, between two claimants. A portion according to numbers, etc. Approximation. Synonyms. Approach. Contiguity. Likeness. Nearness. Neighborhood. Propinquity. Resemblance. Similarity. In mathematics, approximation is not guesswork not looseness and not error. The process of approximation is as exact and correct as every point as that by which an absolute result is secured. The result only fails of exactness because of some inherent difficulty in the problem. The attempt to square the circle gives only an approximate result because of the impossibility of expressing the circumference in terms of the radius. But the limits of error on either side are known, and the approximation has practical value. Outside of mathematics, the correct use of approximation, and the kindred words approximate and approximately, is to express as near an approach to accuracy and certainty as the conditions of human thought or action in any given case make possible. Resemblance and similarity may be but superficial and apparent. Approximation is real. Approach is a relative term, indicating that one has come nearer than before, though the distance may yet be considerable. An approximation brings one really near. Nearness, neighbourhood and propinquity are commonly used of place. Approximation of mathematical calculations and abstract reasoning. We speak of approach to the shore, nearness to the town, approximation to the truth. Antonyms. Difference, distance, error, remoteness, unlikeness, variation. Prepositions. The approximation of the vegetable to the animal type. Arms. Synonyms. Accoutrements, armor, harness, mail, weapons. Arms are implements of attack. Armor is a defensive covering. The knight put on his armor, he grasped his arms. With the disuse of defensive armour, the world has practically gone out of military use, but it is still employed in the navy, where the distinction is clearly preserved. Any vessel provided with cannon is an armed vessel. An armoured ship is an ironclad. Anything that can be wielded in fight may become a weapon, as a pitchfork or a paving stone. Arms are especially made and designed for conflict. Army. Synonyms. Armament, array, force, forces, host, legions, military, multitude, phalanx, soldiers, soldiery, troops. An army is an organized body of men armed for war, ordinarily considerable in numbers, always independent in organization so far as not to be a constituent part of any other command. Organization, unity, and independence rather than numbers, are the essentials of an army. We speak of the invading army of Cortes or Pizarro, though either body was contemptible in numbers from a modern military standpoint. We may have a little army, a large army, or a vast army. Host is used for any vast and orderly assemblage, as the stars are called the heavenly host. 
multitude expresses number without order or organization a multitude of armed men is not an army but a mob legion from the latin and phalanx from the greek are applied by a kind of poetic license to modern forces the plural legions is preferred to the singular military is a general word for land forces the military may include all the armed soldiery of a nation or the term may be applied to any small detached company as at a fort in distinction from civilians any organized body of men by whom the law or will of a people is executed is a force the word is a usual term for the police of any locality arraign synonyms accuse censure charge cite impeach indict prosecute summon arraign is an official word a person accused of crime is arraigned when he is formally called into court the indictment read to him and the demand made of him to plead guilty or not guilty in more extended use to arraign is to call in question for fault in any formal public or official way one may charge another with any fault great or trifling privately or publicly formally or informally accuse is stronger than charge suggesting more of the formal and criminal a person may charge a friend with unkindness or neglect he may accuse a tramp of stealing censure carries the idea of fault but not of crime it may be private and individual or public and official a judge a president or other officer of high rank may be impeached before the appropriate tribunal for high crimes the veracity of a witness may be impeached by damaging evidence a person of the highest character may be summoned as defendant in a civil suit or he may be cited to answer as administrator etc indict and arraign apply strictly to criminal proceedings and only an alleged criminal is indicted or arraigned one is indicted by the grand jury and arraigned before the appropriate court antonyms acquit condone discharge excuse exonerate forgive overlook pardon release set free prepositions arraign at the bar before the tribunal of or for a crime on or upon an indictment array synonyms army arrangement battle array collection disposition exhibition line of battle order order of battle parade show sight the phrase battle array or array of battle is archaic and poetic we now say in line or order of battle the parade is for exhibition and oversight and partial rehearsal of military manual and manoeuvres array refers to a continuous arrangement of men so that all may be seen or reviewed at once this is practically impossible with the vast armies of our day we say rather the disposition of troops which expresses their location so as to sustain and support though unable to see or readily communicate with each other compare dress arrest synonyms apprehend capture catch detain hold make prisoner restrain secure seize stop take into custody take prisoner the legal term arrest carries always the implication of a legal offence this is true even of arresting for debt but one may be detained by process of law when no offence is alleged against him as in the case of a witness who is held in a house of detention till a case comes to trial one may be restrained of his liberty without arrest as in an insane asylum an individual or corporation may be restrained by injunction from selling certain property in case of an arrest an officer may secure his prisoner by fetters by a locked door or other means effectually to prevent escape capture is commonly used of seizure by armed force as to capture a ship a fort etc compare hinder obstruct antonyms discharge dismiss free liberate release set free prepositions 
arrested for crime on suspicion by the sheriff on upon or by virtue of a warrant on final process in execution artifice synonyms art blind cheat contrivance craft cunning device dodge finesse fraud guile imposture invention machination manoeuvre ruse stratagem subterfuge trick while a contrivance or device may be either good or bad a cheat is a mean advantage in a bargain a fraud any form of covert robbery or injury imposture is a deceitful contrivance for securing charity credit or consideration a stratagem or manoeuvre may be of the good against the bad as it were a skilful movement of war a while is usually but not necessarily evil Ian children followed with endearing while goldsmith deserted village line one eight four a trick is often low injurious and malicious we say a mean trick the word is sometimes used playfully with less than its full meaning a ruse or a blind may be quite innocent and harmless an artifice is a carefully and delicately prepared contrivance for doing indirectly what one could not well do directly a device is something studied out for promoting an end as in a mechanism the word is used of indirect action often but not necessarily directed to an evil selfish or injurious end finesse is a specially subtle contrivance delicate artifice whether for good or evil compare fraud antonyms artlessness candor fairness frankness guilelessness honesty ingenuousness innocence openness simplicity sincerity truth artist synonyms artificer artisan mechanic operative workman artist artificer and artisan are all from the root of art but artist holds to the aesthetic sense while artificer and artisan follow the mechanical or industrial sense of the word see art under science artist thus comes only into accidental association with the other words of this group not being a synonym of any one of them and having practically no synonym of its own the work of the artist is creative that of the artisan mechanical the man who paints a beautiful picture is an artist the man who makes pinheads all day is an artisan the artificer is between the two putting more thought intelligence and taste into his work than the artisan but less of the idealizing creative power than the artist the sculptor shaping his model in clay is an artificer as well as an artist patient artisans working simply by rule and scale chisel and polish the stone the man who constructs anything by mere routine and rule is a mechanic the man whose work involves thought skill and constructive power is an artificer the hod carrier is a labourer the bricklayer is a mechanic the master mason is an artificer those who operate machinery nearly self-acting are operatives end of section nine of English synonyms and antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mario Pineda. English synonyms and antonyms by James Champlain Fernald. Ask to attain. Ask. Synonyms. Beg, beseech, crave, demand, entreat, implore, petition, pray, request require solicit supplicate one asks what he feels that he may fairly claim and reasonably expect if a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father luke eleven eleven he begs for that to which he advances no claim but pity demand is a determined and often an arrogant word one may rightfully demand what is his own or his due when it is withheld or denied or he might wrongfully demand that to which he has no claim but power. Require is less arrogant and intrusive than demand, but is exceedingly strenuous. 
as the court requires the attendance of witnesses. Entreat implies a special earnestness of asking, and beseech a still added and more humble intensity. Beseech was formerly often used as a polite intensive for beg or pray, as I beseech you to tell me. To implore is to ask with weeping and lamentation. To supplicate is to ask, as it were, on bended knees. Crave and request are somewhat formal terms. Crave has almost disappeared from conversation. Request would seem distant between parent and child. Pray is now used chiefly to address to the Supreme Being. Petition is used of written request to persons in authority, as to petition the legislature to pass an act or the governor to pardon an offender. Antonyms. Claim. Command. Deny. Enforce. Exact. Extort. Insist. Refuse. Reject. Prepositions. Ask a person for a thing. Ask a thing of or from a person. Ask after or about one's health, welfare, friends, etc. Associate. Synonyms. Accomplice. Ally. Chum. Coadjutor. Colleague. Companion. Comrade. Confederate. Consort. Fellow. Friend. Helpmate. Mate. Partner. Peer. An associate as used officially implies a chief, leader, or principal to whom the associate is not fully equal in rank. Associate is popularly used of mere friendly relations, but oftener implies some work, enterprise, or pursuit in which the associated persons unite. We rarely speak of associates in crime or wrong, using confederates or accomplices instead. Companion gives itself with equal readiness to the good or evil sense, as also those comrade. One may be a companion in trouble who would not readily become an associate at home. A lady advertises for a companion. She would not advertise for an associate. Peer implies equality rather than companionship, as a duty of his peers. Comrade expresses more fellowship and good feeling than companion. Fellow has almost gone out of use in this connection, except in an inferior or patronizing sense. Consort is a word of equality and dignity, as applied especially to the marriage relation. Compare accessory, acquaintance, friendship. Antonyms, antagonist, enemy, foe, hinderer, opponent, opposer, rival, stranger. Prepositions. These were the associates of the leader in the enterprise. Association. Synonyms. Alliance, club, community, companionship, company, confederacy, confederation, conjunction, connection, corporation, familiarity, federation, fellowship, fraternity, friendship, lodge, participation, partnership, society, union. We speak of an alliance of nations, a club of pleasure seekers, a community of shakers, a company of soldiers or of friends, a confederacy, confederation, federation, or union of separate states under one general government, a partnership or company of businessmen, a conjunction of planets. The whole body of Freemasons constitute a fraternity. One of their local organizations is called a lodge. A corporation or company is formed for purposes of business. An association or society, though also incorporated, is for learning, literature, benevolence, religion, etc. Compare associate, acquaintance, friendship. Antonyms, disintegration, independence, isolation, separation, solitude. Prepositions, an association of scholars for the advancement of knowledge. Association with the good is ennobling. Assume, synonyms, accept, affect, appropriate, arrogate, claim, feign, postulate, presume, pretend, put on, take, usurp. The distinctive idea of assume is to take by one's own independent volition, whether well or ill, rightfully or wrongfully. One may accept an obligation or assume an authority that properly belongs to him, or he may assume an obligation or indebtedness that could not be required of him. He may assume authority or office that is his right. If he assumes what does not belong to him, he is said to arrogate or usurp it. A man may usurp the substance of power in the most unpretending way. What he arrogates to himself he assumes with a haughty and overbearing manner. One assumes the robes or insignia of office by putting them on, with or without right. If he takes to himself the credit and appearance of qualities he does not possess, he is said to affect or feign or to pretend to the character he thus assumes. What a debater postulates he openly states and takes for granted without proof. What he assumes he may take for granted without mention. A favorite trick of this office is quietly to assume as true what would at once be challenged if expressly stated. What a man claims he asserts his right to take, what he assumes he takes. Assurance Synonyms Arrogance Assertion Assumption 
boldness, confidence, effrontery, impudence, presumption, self-assertion, self-confidence, self-reliance, trust. Assurance may have the good sense of a high, sustained confidence and trust, as the saint's assurance of heaven. Confidence is founded upon reasons. Assurance is largely a matter of feeling. In the bad sense, assurance is a vicious courage, with belief of one's ability to outwit or defy others. The hardened criminal is remarkable for habitual assurance. For the calm conviction of one's own rectitude and ability, self-confidence is a better word than assurance. Self-reliance expresses confidence in one's own resources, independently of others' aid. In the bad sense, assurance is less gross than impudence, which is, according to its etymology, a shameless boldness. Assurance is an act or manner. Impudence may be in a speech. Effrontery is impudence defiantly displayed. Compare faith, pride. Antonyms. Bashfulness, confusion, consternation, dismay, distrust, doubt, hesitancy, misgiving, shyness, timidity. Astute. Synonyms. Acute, clear-sighted, crafty, cunning, discerning, discriminating, keen, knowing, penetrating, penetrative, perspicacious, sagacious, sharp, shrewd, subtile, subtle. Acute from the Latin suggests the sharpness of the needle's point. Keen from the Saxon, the sharpness of the cutting edge. Astute from the Latin with the original sense of cunning has come to have a meaning that combines the sense of acute or keen with that of sagacious. The astute mind adds to acuteness and keenness an element of cunning or finesse. The astute debater leads his opponents into a snare by getting them to make admission or urge arguments of which he sees a result that they do not perceive. The acute, keen intellect might take no special advantage of these qualities. The astute mind has always a point to make for itself, and seldom fails to make it. A knowing look, air, etc., in general, indicates practical knowledge with a touch of shrewdness and perhaps of cunning. In regard to some special matter, it indicates the possession of reserved knowledge which the person could impart if he chose. Knowing has often a slightly invidious sense. We speak of a knowing rascal, meaning cunning or shrewd, within a narrow range, but of a knowing horse or dog in a sense of sagacious, implying that he knows more than could be expected of such an animal. A knowing child has more knowledge than would be looked for at his years, perhaps more than is quite desirable, while to speak of a child as intelligent is altogether complimentary. Antonyms Blind, dull, idiotic, imbecile, shallow, short-sighted, stolid, stupid, undiscerning, unintelligent. Attachment Synonyms Adherence, adhesion, affection, devotion, esteem, estimation, friendship, inclination, love, regard, tenderness, union. An attachment is a feeling that binds a person by ties of heart to another person or thing. We speak of a man's adherence to his purpose, his adhesion to his party, or to anything to which he clings tenaciously, though with no special tenderness, of his attachment to his church, to the old homestead, or to any persons or objects that he might hold dear. Affection expresses more warmth or feeling. We should not speak of a mother's attachment to her babe, but of her affection or of her devotion. Inclination expresses simply a tendency, which may be good or bad, yielded to or overcome, as an inclination to study, an inclination to drink. Regard is more distant than affection or attachment, but closer and warmer than esteem. We speak of high esteem, kind regard. Compare acquaintance, appendage, friendship, love, union. Antonyms, alienation, animosity, antipathy, aversion, coolness, dislike, distance, divorce, enmity, estrangement, indifference, opposition, repugnance, separation, severance. Prepositions. Attachment of a true man to his friends. Attachment to a leader for his nobility of character. The attachments between two persons or things. Attachment by muscular fibers or by a rope, etc. Attack. Verb. Synonyms. Assail. Assault. Beleaguer. Beset. Besiege. Charge. Combat. Encounter. Fall upon. Invade. Set upon. Storm. To attack is to begin hostilities of any kind. A general invades a country by marching in troops. He attacks a city by drawing up an army against it. He assaults it by hurling his troops directly upon its defenses. Assail and assault, though of the same original etymology, have diverged in meaning, so that assault alone retains the meaning of direct personal violence. One may assail another with reproaches. He assaults him with a blow, a brandished weapon, etc. Armies or squadrons charge. Combat and encounter may be said of individual contests. 
to beset is to set around or so to speak to stud one's path with menaces attacks or persuasions to besiege and beleaguer are the acts of armies to encounter is to meet face to face and may be said either of the attacking or of the resisting force of person or of both antonyms aid befriend cover defend protect resist shelter shield support sustain uphold withstand prepositions we were attacked by the enemy with cannon and musketry attack noun synonyms aggression assault encroachment incursion infringement intrusion invasion onset onslaught trespass an attack may be by word an aggression is always by deed an assault might be upon the person an aggression is upon rights possessions etc an invasion of a nation's territories is an act of aggression an intrusion upon a neighboring state is a trespass onslaught signifies intensely violent assault as by an army or a desperado though it is sometimes used of violent speech antonyms defense repulsion resistance retreat submission surrender prepositions the enemy made an attack upon or on our works attain synonyms accomplish achieve acquire arrive at compass earn gain get grasp master obtain procure reach secure win a person may obtain a situation by the intercession of friends he procures a dinner by paying for it attain is a lofty word pointing to some high or desirable result a man attains the mountain summit he attains honor or learning as the result of a strenuous and earnest labor even that usage of attain which has been thought to refer to mere progress of times carries the thought of a result desired as to attain to old age the man desires to live to a good old age we should not speak of his attaining his dotage one may attain an object that will prove not worth his labor but what he achieves is in itself great and splendid as the greeks at marathon achieved a glorious victory compare do get reach antonyms abandon fail forfeit give up let go lose miss end of section ten